we are doing an experimentation on the impact of igneo thrash as well as the Reiki second degree symbols on the quality of water. Now the quality of the water is being measured in terms of its pH value, the acidity or alkalinity. Now we are taking the first sample which is tap water, a plain simple tap water. This is the sample and now we are going to measure the pH value of that. Let's see how much it shows. value changes at all and if so to what extent it will be changing. Kalpita will be adding in this water the Agni of Rash freshly prepared. a cap full of agni thrash. Now she is stirring it so that it mixes up well. We are allowing it to settle for some time. And now we will measure the pH value of this mixture of water with the agnio crash using the pH meter. sample of water, we are going to draw the Reiki second degree symbols, all the symbols. Kalpita will be drawing the symbols on the water. We will do it for about few seconds. Again, measure the pH value of this sample to find out whether there is any significant change at all. Now we are looking at the pH meter. It shows what is that? 8.7. 8.7. So from 8.5 value has gone up to 8.7. Now this is proven as far as the plain water is concerned. It started with the pH value of 7.5 or 7.6. It went to 8.5 and now it has gone to 8.7. So it is becoming more and more alkaline. Now we are going to make another sample which is a plastic bottled water. This was a tap water. Now I'll repeat the same experiment with the other sample. 
a stagnated water as we can say. This water was in the bottle for almost few days or a couple of weeks and we are going to measure the pH value of this sample and shows 7.5 7 7.5 it's it is fluctuating 7.4, 7.5 7.7 sorry 7.7 plastic bottle, the stagnated water, it was a different time the water was there, so there could be a difference in the pH value. Now we are going to measure what is the impact of ammonia crash on this, 7.5 and we are going to add some, the same amount of ash what we did with the sample, the first sample of plain water. Earlier we had done this kind of test using the litmus paper. We showed qualitatively the difference between the plain water and the water with the ash and also with the symbols. Now we are going to measure the pH value of this water, which is plastic bottled water. Now added with agneo trash with the same quantum. And we are going to see what is the value shows. Somewhere like 8.5. 8.5. So immediately the alkalinity has Gone up. between 8.5 and 6. Yeah, 8.5 and 8.6, so somewhere we can say 8.55 statistically. And now we are going to draw the symbols the way we did, like the second degree symbols on the same water. Now the water is with the agni of trash and the Pita is drawing symbols on this water. We'll find the impact of the vibrations and the intentions of the healer. And after a few seconds, we'll take the sample again and measure the pH value. Now let's see. Kalpita is going to measure the pH value of this sample. Seven. Marginally, there's an increase after the symbols have been drawn. So, once again, we are establishing here that the pH value of the water changes with the addition of the ash as well as and it enhances even further by drawing the Reiki symbols on that. Now, we are going to try the third one, which probably shows uh, qualitative as we've seen before. It shows a different kind of a property, and that is the water in the earthen pot. When we did it for the first time, it already showed a lot of alkalinity. And this time we are going to see it again. This is the water from the earthen pot, the fresh water, but stored in the earthen pot. It is not from the tap water, it is not from the plastic water bottle either. And now we are trying to measure the value which comes to around 8.1 we already started showing this high alkaline and I think that is how one can say that the water is stored in the earthen pot it reduces the acidity of the water now we are going to add agneo trash made from the same agneo experiment before the same sample of ash same amount and then we are going to measure the impact of a new trash on the carbon pot which is already showing a lot of alkalinity now probably I think one should know why people say that the water from the carbon pot is better than the water from the refrigerator and why 
the age old practice of storing water in the earthen pot was considered very important and essential. Every house used to have the earthen pot, the matka as they say. Now we are going to see the pH value after adding the ash here. And how this start showing something like 8.5. 8.5 and 6. So something like 8.6 now. So you can say it is increased from 8.3 to 8.6. Okay. Now we are going to draw the symbols on second degree symbols on the same water, which is already showing a lot of alkaline properties in terms of pH value. It has been reported that the water added by neotrash brings down the acidity within the body also. But so far it was an empirical kind of a research. Now we are trying to work out and find out exactly to what extent the pH values differ. That's fine. And now after the second degree Reiki symbols, now, measuring the pH value of this water, which is already from the earthen pot, which is ash has already been added from the neutral, and over and above that, we have now added the symbols 8.8. Eight. So, they've already jumped up by 0.2 units. Okay, now I think uh, that this establishes. I think this, this clearly establishes uh, how the Agni Ash and the Reiki second degree symbols make an impact on the quality of the water. Okay, so thank you very much.